Imagine standing on the edge of a vast ocean, gazing at the horizon. The waters stretch endlessly, and just beyond your sight lies a world of potential, a world shaped by your beliefs, your knowledge, and your actions. Now, think of money as this ocean, a force as powerful and boundless as the waves that carve out the land. But like the ocean, money can be mysterious, with hidden depths and unseen currents. What if everything you thought you knew about this force was shaped by myths? misconceptions that have kept you from harnessing its true potential. Today, we're going to embark on a journey, not just to debunk myths, but to fundamentally shift how you see money. We'll explore the ideas that have shaped your financial worldview, dissect them, and build something stronger, something that can truly serve you in the future. This isn't just about money, it's about control, freedom, and the life you want to create. They say, Money can't buy happiness, but let's think deeply about this. What is happiness, really? Is it fleeting joy, or is it the security of knowing you can take care of yourself and those you love? When we say money can't buy happiness, we're often confusing luxury with fulfillment. Money itself isn't happiness, but it's a tool, a tool that, when used wisely, can help you achieve the kind of life that aligns with your values and desires. Imagine a life where your financial freedom allows you to spend time with your family, pursue your passions, or help those in need. Is that not a form of happiness? But here's the hard truth. If you think money doesn't matter, you're kidding yourself. Money touches every aspect of your life. It dictates where you live, the quality of your health care, the education your children receive, it's time to stop downplaying its importance. If happiness is defined by your ability to fulfill your needs and desires, then money plays a significant role. The trick is not to let money become the end goal. Instead, view it as a means to an end, an enabler of experiences, security, and opportunities that contribute to your overall well-being. Let's break down the real utility of money. Financial stress is a leading cause of anxiety and depression. So, while money may not directly buy happiness, it certainly buys peace of mind, an essential component of happiness. We must reshape our thinking. It's not about how much money you have, but how you use it to create a life of purpose and contentment. We've been taught from a young age that the harder you work, the more you earn. But let's challenge this. What if working smarter, not harder, was the key to financial success? Here's a brutal fact. The world doesn't reward hard work it rewards results. In the age of automation, AI, and digital platforms, wealth is no longer directly tied to the hours you put in. It's about leverage, leveraging your skills, your time, and technology to create multiple income streams that work for you even when you're not working. Think of the billionaire entrepreneurs of today. Do they work 24 seven? No, they've built systems that do the work for them. Whether it's through investments, passive income, or scaling a business, they understand that time is a finite resource, but opportunities to generate income are not. The future of work is not about trading hours for dollars, but creating systems that generate wealth independent of your time. Start seeing your time as the most valuable currency. Every moment you spend working could be optimized. Instead of focusing solely on hard work, focus on strategic work. Ask yourself, what can I do today that will pay dividends tomorrow next week, or even next year. This is the mindset that separates the wealthy from everyone else. We're told to save every penny, to live frugally, and to hold on to our money tightly. But here's the truth. Saving without investing is like hoarding seeds without planting them. Sure, you're not losing anything, but you're not gaining anything either. If you hoard money without allowing it to grow, you're missing out on the potential for your money to work for you. Imagine you have a small seed. If you keep it in a jar, it will never grow. But if you plant it, water it, and let it absorb the sunlight, it will grow into a tree, bearing fruit season after season. Money is much the same. Left stagnant, it loses value over time due to inflation. Invested wisely, it can grow and multiply. Let's consider the power of compounding. Albert Einstein called compound interest the eighth wonder of the world. It's the process where your investment earns interest, and then that interest earns interest. Over time, this creates exponential growth. But this requires a mindset shift, from seeing money as something to be saved and protected to something that should be nurtured and allowed to grow. 
Instead of saving all your money in a low interest savings account, spread your investments across stocks, bonds, real estate, and other assets. Each one carries different risks and rewards, but together they can provide a balanced approach that protects and grows your wealth. Debt is often seen as the enemy of financial stability, but not all debt is created equal. There's bad debt, like high interest credit cards, and then there's good debt, debt that's used to acquire assets that appreciate over time. Think about a mortgage on a home or a loan to start a business. These are examples of leveraging debt to build wealth. The key is not to avoid debt altogether, but to manage it wisely. Good debt can be a powerful tool when used strategically, enabling you to make investments that would otherwise be out of reach. The future of debt management is in understanding leverage. Leverage allows you to use borrowed capital to increase the potential return on an investment. This is how real estate investors and entrepreneurs build wealth by using other people's money to create income streams and grow their portfolios. But here's the hard truth. Mismanaging debt is a fast track to financial ruin. It's not about avoiding debt. It's about understanding it. Use it wisely and it can propel you forward. Use it recklessly and it will drag you down. Risk is often seen as something to avoid, especially when it comes to money. But here's the truth. Without risk, there's no reward. The most successful people in the world didn't get where they are by playing it safe. They took calculated risks. Consider the difference between calculated risk and reckless gambling. Calculated risk involves research, strategy, and a clear understanding of potential outcomes. It's about stepping out of your comfort zone with a plan, knowing that there's a possibility of failure, but also a chance for significant success. What if you started seeing risk as a necessary part of growth? By avoiding risk, you're also avoiding potential opportunities. The key is to mitigate risk through education, diversification, and strategic planning. In the world of finance, playing it too safe can often be the riskiest move of all. Remember, the biggest risk is staying stagnant. The world is changing rapidly, and if you're not willing to take risks, you're likely to be left behind. This age-old saying has been misinterpreted for centuries. Money is the root of all evil. But money itself is neutral. It's a tool, like a hammer. It can be used to build or to destroy, depending on how it's wielded. Let's talk about the psychology of money. If you see money as evil, you're likely to subconsciously push it away, feeling undeserving or fearful of wealth. But what if you reframed money as a means to an end? a tool that allows you to do good in the world, to support your family, to contribute to causes you care about, to create a life that fulfills you. The future of wealth is in conscious capitalism, where making money and making a difference go hand in hand. Imagine a world where your financial success contributes to the well-being of others. This isn't just a dream, it's already happening with social enterprises and impact investing. Wealth creation can be a force for good, not just for the individual, but for society as a whole. But here's the truth you need to face. If you continue to believe that money is evil, you'll never have it. Change your mindset and watch how your financial situation changes with it. There's a myth of the self-made millionaire, the lone wolf who builds an empire through sheer determination. But the truth is, no one succeeds alone. Behind every successful person is a network of mentors, collaborators, and supporters. Let's explore the concept of social capital, the value of the relationships and networks you build. Social capital can open doors that money alone cannot. It's about leveraging the knowledge, resources, and support of others to achieve your financial goals. In the future, collaboration will be more important than ever. With the rise of the gig economy and digital platforms, building a network of like-minded individuals can help you tap into opportunities you never knew existed. Don't underestimate the power of community in your journey to financial success. Here's a hard truth. Isolation is the enemy of growth. If you're trying to do it all on your own, you're missing out on the power of collective wisdom and support. Success is not a solo journey, it's a collaborative effort. Now that we've debunked these seven lies, what's next? It's time to rethink your relationship with money. No longer should it be a source of stress or confusion. Instead, see it as a tool, one that when used wisely can create a life of freedom, 
purpose, and abundance. Imagine a life where you're in control of your financial destiny, where you've shed the myths that have held you back and embraced a mindset of growth and possibility. This is not just about wealth, it's about well-being, about creating a life that aligns with your values and dreams. So, as you go forward, remember, money is not the enemy. It's a resource, a tool, and most importantly, a reflection of the value you bring to the world. Use it wisely and watch as it shapes not just your bank account, but your entire life.